All right, guys, so I am starting my journey today with the snake diet. Um, I just had, I had my last meal, which was Chick-fil-A fries and a milkshake, and I had like a couple bottles of water. So that's a terrible, terrible meal, but I knew I was going on this journey. So um, today is the 27th of July. Um, I took my accountability pictures. I weighed in at 203.4. So 203.4 is my starting weight. Um, I plan to do the snake diet. I plan to do drink the snake juice for 48 hours and then refeed. If, if I feel if I feel good, I might keep going. Um, it's actually going to be 72 hours of fasting because I'm waiting on my other ingredients for the snake juice to come. I'm waiting on um, the no salt to come in. I have the other two ingredients. I just need the no salt. So once that comes in, which it gets here on Sunday, then I'll start on Sunday. So it may be, I'm still going to do the fast. I'm just going to start it with regular water for now. Um, or I may just start it with the two ingredients that I have for now. And then when the other ingredients comes in, I'll add that to the mix. And then I'll keep going from there. So, um, so it's looking like the weekend, no food at all. Going into Monday, no food. Um, depending on how I feel, I may refeed um, on Tuesday. And then start it back over. And then I'll start a fresh 72 hours in which I will have all the ingredients. And then I can really see what it's actually all about. Alright guys, what's going on? I'm here chilling in the bed. Uh, it is uh, the next day. I just did a video last night when I announced that I was starting this snake diet. However, I am missing one ingredient, and that is the no salt. I don't have that yet. So I decided to just not drink any water at all. So I kind of went into all, pretty much, I, you know, pretty much in it. I went into a dry fast. Um, I haven't had any water. I haven't had anything to eat since about maybe 9 o'clock last night. So it is now 2.28 p.m. So in about seven hours, if I make it to nine o'clock, I've basically done a 24-hour dry fast. And I haven't, I don't feel terrible. Um, I do feel now the headache is starting to come and the lightheadedness. But because I've been doing, like I've been here working on some work, some uh, graphics and some photos, getting some photo editing done and stuff like that. And I just, my mind hasn't been on it. And I'm looking around, and it's almost 3 o'clock, and I still haven't had anything to eat or drink today. So I was like, okay, wow. So maybe I can get through 24 hours of a dry fast. So I'm still going. Um, I'm trying to wait. I don't want to start the snake juice fast until I have all the ingredients and I can do it the right way. So I'd rather just not drink any water at all and just go straight dry until my ingredients get here. All right, what's going on, y'all? I have made it to the 24-hour mark. I have not had anything to drink or eat since 9 p.m. yesterday, and it is now like a little bit after 9, so I'm kind of late. So it's been 24 hours. So, And basically, I mean, I don't feel as bad as I thought I would. Like, I was thirsty throughout the day because I drink a lot of water. If you look by my bed on my um, nightstand, all I have is like a bunch of water bottles. I drink a lot of water during the day, during the night, and all that kind of stuff. So I was thirsty, but it, it, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, I have a headache right now, and I know that headache's going to be there because I my eating had gotten out of control. So I was eating all kind of stuff, just craziness, stuff that I know that I shouldn't be eating. Um, I had went through a period where I went like over 90 days without drinking any soda. And then all of a sudden I went on leave and I went home and I just started back drinking soda. And so now I got to deal with that headache. I might have wouldn't have had to deal with that sugar and caffeine rush if I would have just stayed off the sodas. But right now I'm dealing with that headache. It's 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 not that intense. It's it's it. I could take it. So when I wore in yesterday, it was I was 203. Um, so now I'm going to weigh and see where we at. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to weigh in. Like I said, when I started this fast, I was 203. So here we are. That's where we at. 
All right, so we're at 197.8. What's going on, guys? It is now 4.10 p.m. I'm about five hours from 48 hours, so I'm at about 43 hours of uh, dry fasting. Um, since I started, I weighed in at 203.4. And then I weighed myself the next day, and I was at 197.4, or was it, no, no 196.4? I can't remember, I got the I got the, the pictures, I'll put them in there. But, and then I weighed myself, I weighed myself this morning. I think I was 194.7, that's what it was, 194.7. And then I took a nap, Woke up, and now I'm 192.8. So the weight's steadily dropping. However, I did um, do a keto strip, and it, I'm not quite in ketosis, but the weight is still coming off. So I'm not in ketosis yet. It's uh, It was like the very first one and then the second one. So that's where I was at at the second one. So I'm not there yet. So probably by tomorrow, it'll probably be considerably different. Um. I'm not really a big person anyway. Like, if you look at my arms and my legs, they aren't big at all. I just had a big gut, and it just looked crazy. Like, it looked like, I don't know. It was just a big gut, and that was it. Like, my arms are still, you know, shapely, and my legs. But I just had one big gut, so I wasn't fat. Um, my waist may have gotten a little bit bigger, but that was it. Like, that's where all the fat was just in my gut and, like, waist area. Like, nothing else got bigger. And it just looked like I was freaking pregnant, really, to be honest. So, with all that big gut, there was plenty of stuff in there for this body to eat eat off. No need for me to put anything else in it. So, um, I'm going to continue um, one more day because I got to go to work on Tuesday. And I can't go to work with my breath and not taking a shower, so... I'm going to go one more day without dry fasting, and then I'm going to go into the uh, the snake diet. So I'm still not going to eat any food. I'm not going to eat any food. I'm going to try to go as long as I can. Right now, I got seven days in my head, but if I feel good after seven days, I'm going to keep going. Um, I want my, my, my target weight is 175 pounds, and it seems it, the way that this weight is dropping off me now, I'm going to get that in I'm going to get that in no time. Like, I'm at 192 right now. So, I'm already 10, um, 2, that's 12. Like, seven, like 17 pounds away from my target weight on, and not even on day two yet. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to get 175. I'm going to hit that quick. I might mess around and go get to 170 the way that this weight is dropping off of me. So I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing and, and try to uh, see if I can get, get to where I'm trying to get. Um, the rest of my ingredients came today, but I'm not going to do the snake juice yet until I'm going to take this uh, water uh, dry fast up as far as I can. And then I'm going to go into uh, the snake juice. All right, what's going on, y'all? So now I am finally, I finally hit the 72 hours. I did it. I still don't feel hungry. I'm just thirsty as heck. So I'm getting ready to break my fast. I'm breaking it with coconut water. So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to drink liquids in this in this in like a it's nine o'clock now. So probably an hour window. I'll drink liquids. And then tomorrow when I wake up, I'm going to dry fast all day and I'm not going to do it again until I get back. I'm not going to drink liquids again until the same time tomorrow. So I'll still essentially keep my dry fast, but I'll still put some wet in there. And then what I also decided to do, instead of immersing my full self in water, taking a shower, I'm just going to do what we call three points of contact in the, in the army. So basically, your three points of contact, your underarms, your private area, and your butt. So you hit those three areas with some soap and some water on a rag, then that way I'm not fully immersing myself in water and kind of messing up what I got going. So I'm going to do that instead of just coming off the fast completely. So it's gonna be kind of a wet, but kind of dry. So I'll be drying during the day um, and things like that. So 
yeah what's going on guys so this is day i'm working on day four so i broke my dry fast last night at nine o'clock because i started on friday at nine so i broke it on monday at nine that was 72 hours no food no water no nothing i broke it last night with coconut water so i drank i drank a whole liter of coconut water okay so what i decided to do is because i gotta go because i'm on my way to work now because i gotta go to work i decided to do a soft basically a 23 hour dry fast and then when i at nine o'clock tonight or nine o'clock on every day um i'll, I'll um, i'm not gonna eat but i'm gonna drink so i'll either do um coconut water or i'll do some other fruit juices that i have and i'll do those um out then it's all organic stuff it's all organic juices um i got some i think i got i went and bought some um organic pineapple i got organic lemon i got organic um uh, fruit fruit punch uh what's the other one um some kind of vitamix it's like a big vitamix of juice i got that all that stuff from the uh the organic store um and i also have um my snake juice made up so um I'm not sure what I'll um, what I'll drink tonight, but I'll drink something, um, uh, and then I will. Um, I'm just gonna keep fasting for 23 hours, dry fasting. So I'm not gonna drink anything or eat anything, but at night during that that nine o'clock, ten o'clock hour window, I'll be able to put some type of electrolytes in me so I can make it through that next day. What up? What up, guys? It is day number six no food whatsoever and i am feeling i'm feeling fine man i mean it's a little like my stomach is not like normal normal but it's not uh i'm not hungry i'm not having hunger pains or any of that um i am drinking the snake juice now um i tried to once i came off my dry fast i tried to do a 23 hour dry fast and then just drink liquids um in an hour window but that I couldn't it made I was too weak at work so I had to I had to ditch that it wasn't I couldn't do that one I tried it I did it one day and then the second day I tried to do it um and I think that was day five I tried to do it and I was just so weak till I had to um I was so weak I had to uh, I had to stop that so I'm on the snake juice now um I got it right beside me actually um my first batch of snake juice, I think I put too much baking soda in it. It was really chalky and it made my stomach feel kind of funny, made me feel nauseated. So I cut back, I cut back on the salts and the baking soda this time. Um, and it's almost like water, but I can still taste it. But it's, I think it's going to be good enough for, for what I need to get me through, through the day. I'm not doing any strenuous work, you know what I mean, right now. So um, I think the most strenuous thing I do, strenuous, sorry thing that I do is walking from my car to my office which is about probably like a half mile so it's that's like the uh probably the most strenuous activity that I'm doing um and I'm being conscious of that and I'm taking it easy and throughout the day I'm also making sure that I'm getting out the office and getting into and going out into the uh you know getting fresh air and being out in the sun a little bit soak up some of those rays so I'm doing that as well but I feel great day six um, I know you guys can see it in my face. Um, I am down to 186 pounds, down from 203. I am three pounds away from 20 pounds, from losing 20 pounds in basically a week. So I know I'm going to knock these three pounds out here between today and tomorrow, I believe. I believe I will. So, yes. So I am down almost 20 pounds in a seven-day stretch. So that is awesome um and then after that i have another 10 to go and then once i get down there get down to the other 10 then i'll start implementing weight training i probably i'm probably gonna start implementing weight training next week anyway um not nothing crazy i'm just gonna do what i can do i'm just gonna be weight that i can handle and do great reps and i'm not gonna kill myself i'm just gonna go in and start introducing my muscles to that and the thing in that nature i'll probably start back introducing food and all that kind of stuff because i think i'm going to get down to that weight anyway if i keep doing the 48 the 48 eat 72 eat 48 eat 72 eat 
So if I keep doing that, I'm going to get down anyway. But if I do that while I'm working out, oh, man, I know I'm going to be ripped like crazy. So um, I'm going to continue to do that. And uh, day six, guys, it, still going. Didn't think it was possible. Didn't think that I can go that long without eating. But I'm doing it. What's going on, y'all? So this is day seven. And I have not had any food. Actually, just let me break down my week. So last Friday, I decided to do the snake, this snake diet. But it went into a dry fast because I didn't have all the ingredients. So once I got into the dry fast and I saw that I wasn't dying, I just kept going. So from Friday at 9 p.m. until Monday at 9 p.m., I didn't take in any water or food. And I lost a combined total of probably about 11 pounds during those three days. Then from there, I broke my fast with some coconut water. I, I drank a whole liter of it, broke the fast with coconut water. Then the next day, um, I started on uh, snake juice. So that would be Tuesday, I started drinking the snake juice. So what I started doing is on Tuesday, I didn't, either I drunk that night and I drunk it in a tight window, probably like a 30 minute window, I just drunk those fluids. And then until for 23 hours, I didn't, I didn't take in any food or water again. And then when at nine o'clock, I took in fluids. So I took in like organic fruit juices and stuff like that. Uh, like a cut, like two glasses in a 30 minute window. And then I did it again. I tried to do it again on Wednesday, but I was so weak to I, till I had to change it up. So um, I changed it up and I started drinking the, uh, the snake juice. So on Thursday, I had snake juice all day. I was fine. Um, I still drunk some fruit juice in, the, in those windows, in that 30 minute window. And that kind of just gave me more, a little bit more kick to make it through work. Cause I had to walk far into work and stuff like that. Um, and then yesterday, same thing. So same kind of deal. Um, I lost a total of 17 and a half pounds by day, day five of the fast. So it's a total of 17 and a half. But then I noticed I gained a pound and a half back and that could be from the fruit juice window. So, um, but I'm still not discouraged because I lost a ton of weight in less than a week, almost 20 pounds. So I am now trying to, I'm on my last day. I'm gonna refeed tonight. I wasn't, I was gonna try to see if I can keep going, but I think I'm gonna refeed tonight because I'm feeling really, really weak. Um, again, I haven't had any food since last Friday. So I went a week without food. So I'm gonna refeed. I'm probably gonna refeed on soup. There's gonna be some, um, Wolfgang Puck, organic. I think, I don't know if I'm, which one I'm gonna eat. I got chicken noodle, I got chicken and wild rice, I got chicken and dumpling. I'm probably not gonna eat the chicken and dumpling one because I think that'll be a little bit too much coming off. So it'll probably be like the chicken and wild rice. I got a, I got a vegetable soup, I got all kinds of stuff, so. And to add with that soup, I'm gonna um, cook up some fresh green beans and eat a plate full of those with the soup. So that's, that's gonna be my dinner for the night, breaking the fast. Good morning, guys. It is the end. I ended my seven day no food um, snake fast, snake slash dry fast because I dry fasted 72 of those hours. And then the other four days I did snake juice. Um, but I am starting over. So I refed last night. I had a big, huge plate of green beans and a bowl of soup. It was a uh, chicken and wild rice. Uh, it was an organic soup that I got from the organic store. So I had that and a big pile of green beans and some organic juice. So I had that last night and you know, it's pretty good. Those green beans were like the best thing ever since I hadn't had anything in a week. So I'm starting over. I'm going dry for 48 hours since it's the weekend. I can afford to do one, another dry fast 
and I am down. I'm, my, my, my weight maintained. Um, I was 186.2 before I ate my meal, and then I went up to 188.6 or 180, yeah, 188.6 after I ate. So, like a two pound gain for the food. But when I woke up this morning, I was right back at 186.2. So, whatever I ate, that burned off overnight. So, it was a you know, I didn't gain jack. So I was still in deep ketosis and everything else after I ate. So um, I checked this morning and I'm still in ketosis. So um, everything is going according to plan. Um, I am now headed to the gym. I'm gonna do probably some five by fives, real light. I'm not gonna go in there and try to be heat man. I'm gonna go in there real light and just kind of engage my muscles and get them, you know, get them going. And um, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back home.